Hi, this is Veronica Petrucci. Stay tuned, we have more Entertainment Circle coming. Welcome back to Entertainment Circle. So you think you can dance? Hmm, wait until you see these guys. Watch. It's the same show you know and love. You're after that certain something special, that star quality. You can't help but watch them, you know? You can't take your eyes from them. Dance is developing all the time, so even after eight years, we're still seeing new stuff. Um, I've never seen turfing before. We went up to Oakland, we saw that. Um, last year was Memphis Jukin. Uh, Atlanta had an abundance of talent this year. So it's very exciting to do the auditions every single year. Season eight, we're gonna do a top 20 once again, and as soon as we get down to 10, then we're gonna bring the all-stars in. We're going back to the resident judge and then rotating judge uh, format, uh, because Adam Shankman is off doing a big movie, Rock of Ages, uh, with Tom Cruise, so we haven't got Adam every week. We'll use all of our choreographers that we use across the season for our third rotating judge, and then anybody that's floating that we think, hey, they'd make a good judge, we'll bring them in. Um, Alex Wong is doing very well. He's about 80% fit. Uh, we certainly will see him this season, even if it's only as a guest appearance. It takes a lot of things to be named America's favorite dancer. It takes great technique, it takes a great performance, and it takes this magical quality called charisma, or the it factor, or as Simon Cowell calls it, especially on Fox now, the X factor, uh, that combines together in one person and just generates a star. We've got a a National Dance Day coming up on the 31st of July and Napoleon and Tabitha are going to create another flash mob for us and you'll get to hear all about it on fox.com backslash dance. I'm looking forward to um, everything that we generally get from any season of dance which is uh, uh, this huge abundance of talent. You're just not expecting it, but every year, you know, people turn into become 18-year-olds and they flood into the dancing auditions. They've been watching it for 10 years. They know exactly what's going to be expected of them. Uh, and, and, and they just come along and they're brilliant. So I love that part of it. I become a different person when I go back to being a dancer, and that is a very nervous and shy person. It's a different role for me, I guess. Uh, I know that when I danced for Mia Michaels on a finale two years ago, I was the most ner well, I was the second most nervous person on the stage. The most nervous person on the stage was Mia Michaels herself, who couldn't remember her own choreography. I'm actually just excited about season eight. I can't believe it. I kind of feel as though I've blinked my eyes and all of a sudden it's season eight. You know, when, when I first started this, this job, I started in season two and I had you know, of course you want the show to be successful and of course that's, you know, what, what, what you aspire to. But I never thought that we'd still be here, you know, seven seasons later. It's kind of, it's, it's ridiculous. Season eight, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm literally going to be wheeled out, I think, age 87 on a little Zimmer frame and being like, hello and welcome to so you think you can dance. Do you know what I mean? I, I, and and the, 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 the whole thing that we have to do is say thank you to the audience that watches the show. You know, they're the people that keep us, keep us going and, and, and while they're still passionate about watching the show, we'll keep giving it to them. So it's thanks to them. It's the same show you know and love. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But every single year, we just get this new influx of talent. And before we do every single, uh, every single audition process, like, you kind of turn around and go, are we going to be able to find people? Are they going to be out there? And then you start doing it and you realise, yeah, this is absolutely fine. I think the big thing about these particular auditions as well, though, and, and this is something that's been very interesting, is the dancers seem to have taken on board the constructive criticism that... that that any of the judges have given them. So it, say for instance, if they're a hip hopper, they have gone away and put themselves through ballroom class and practiced and done their thing. And then they've come back and they've actually come back stronger. And it's amazing the number of people that have actually heeded the judges advice, gone away, really put in the time and the effort and the work and come back and, and become even better. Yeah, I absolutely think the show's aspirational. I think that, that I think it, one, it proves that the American dream is alive and kicking and you can be any race, religion, colour, creed, come from anywhere in the country and if you have a talent and you're prepared to work hard and you're passionate about it, you can be anything you want to be and I think there's nothing more aspirational than that, particularly to kind of 
teenagers that are just starting out in life and, and trying to figure out, you know, muddling through and trying to figure out what they want to do. And I think it's very important to remember that you should dream big. I come from, I mean, I come from a small town. My mum and dad aren't anybody famous. I never went to stage school. Um, there's every reason why I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. And yet I, I did. So if I can do it, other people can. What I find remarkable about every season is that the dancers get better and better. Season eight, we've even seen stronger dancers than we saw in season seven, and we know how good that was. You are so amazing. <laughs> you are a complete dancer right now. Inspiring people to dance. It's very special because these dancers have grown up watching So You Think You Can Dance and have been dreaming of this for eight seasons. Every single year, we just get this new influx of talent. And before we do every single audition process, you kind of turn around and go, are we going to be able to find people? And then you start doing it, and you realize, yeah, this is absolute fine. It takes a lot of things to be named America's favorite dancer. It takes great technique. The control of it all is magnificent. It takes a great performance. You are brilliant. And it takes this magical quality called the it factor that combines together in one person and just generates a star. There's only 20 people each year that can hold that title. But you really have to have the whole package after this May season. We have to say thank you to the audience that watches the show. And while they're still passionate about watching the show, we'll keep giving it to them. So it's thanks to them. Make sure you tune in Thursday nights on Fox to watch your favorite dancer. And that's all we have for today on Entertainment Circle. Make sure you tune in next week to see more of us. And you can always watch us 24-7 on eCircleTV.com. Ciao. Hacerlo. No hay que llorar Lo que sueñas alcanzarás Si te dejas